Hi folks, and welcome back to The Shack. This is Joe N2DI today with the QRP Labs QMX and the MXP50M amplifier. This video is in response to quite a few of my subscribers who requested to see how to get the MXP50M to work with the QRP Labs QMX, and that's not hard to say at all. Now, the MXP50M is an infamous unbranded 45 watt amplifier, I'm gonna say of uh, dubious quality, produced in China, and often found floating around eBay or Amazon from random sellers. It's currently going for 159 US as of September 2024. This isn't going to be a review of the amplifier. I'll talk through some of the basic controls just so you can see how to use it with the QMX. But I just want to mention that this amplifier may have issues with spurious emissions or spectral purity, as it's also called. And it depends on the quality of the build. So if you don't know what you're doing just yet, then I suggest you don't run out and buy this amp. For folks that don't know what spurious emissions are, in a nutshell, when generating RF in something like a radio or an amplifier, unless there's proper filtering put into place, the amp or the radio will transmit harmonics on unintended frequencies. So this means if you're trying to amplify, let's say, a 20 meter band transmission, you may also be transmitting on 10 meters on a harmonic of that 20 meter fundamental frequency. In case you were wondering, that's bad. That's like Ghostbusters crossing the streams bad. Maybe I'll make a video showing this with a signal generator and a spectrum analyzer to demonstrate what it actually looks like in practice. Anyway, unless you test your specific amplifier on a spectrum analyzer, then you won't know if you're actually generating harmonics. And if you are, then you're gonna need a low pass filter to block those harmonics. For this video, I'm gonna assume that you know your amp. So this is strictly how to get the QMX to work with the MXP50M. Good Lord. I need to stop saying that. Okay, so let's get started. To switch the amp into transmit mode, you're gonna need a keying cable to key the amp when the QMX transmits. The amp has a two pin connector on the back, right here, right next to the power connection. You're gonna to have to pull this to ground to get the amp to switch to transmit mode. You can make the cable if you so desire. It's not really that hard. All you need is a eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter TRS jack and the corresponding connector that connects to the amp side. I have no idea what this is called. If anybody knows what this is in the comments, can you please uh, let us know? But with this jack and this connector and a couple cables, you could build your own keying cable. Just solder the red connection to the tip and the black to the sleeve. You could leave the ring in the center not connected. That's all you need. Now, if you're not too keen on making your own cable, you can get one from a seller on eBay called BD7 Maple. They're a good seller that I've used before. I'm not affiliated with them, but they actually have quite a lot of useful radio accessories of popular radios. Anyway, they have the required cable pre-made. The link is in the description below. They currently want about $9.90 for the cable. If you don't already have the parts in your junk bin, then it may be worth it just to buy the finished cable. Once you have the cable, you have to configure the QMX to ground out the PTT connection when it transmits. Now you can't make that change in the regular menu. To change that setting, you're gonna to have to connect your QMX to your computer with a USB cable to access the terminal application on the QMX to tweak the quote unquote advanced settings. This is actually pretty simple. You should follow the QRP Labs documentation to connect your radio, but in a nutshell, you're going to use a USB-C cable and a terminal emulator on your computer like PuTTY for Windows or a screen on a Mac or Linux. You just connect to the correct COM port with the correct baud rate explained in the docs and then hit enter. You will then see the configuration menu. Just use the arrow keys to move around and enter to select and escape to back out. Go to configuration, then band. Now you'll see a bunch of columns of data for each band that your QMX supports. Go down to the line that says TXPTT grounded, then set all your bands from disabled to enabled by hitting the E key on your keyboard and then use the arrow keys to move to the next band. Once they are all done, hit Control Q to quit. Then keep hitting escape until you get back to the main menu. Then select exit terminal and close your terminal emulator. That's it, that was the advanced configuration change we had to make. Now all you need to do is connect your keying cable to the amp and the QMX. Okay. 
We'll switch the QMX on. We'll switch the amp on. It's set for 20 meters. This is currently on 20 meters. I'm actually using a dummy load. And now, now you should be able to see when I hit the key, the amp will switch into transmit mode. That's it. You're done. It's pretty simple once you know what to do. If that was useful, then please like and subscribe. So from the shack of Joe, November 2, Delta, India, I wish you all good health. And since you're now QRO, 73. Bye-bye.